Here is what sales psychologists have to say about selling to the Negro. The secret of selling to the Negro is expressed in one word. That word is recognition. Now, there's nothing unusual about that. People want to be recognized. They need recognition. That's basic in all of us. But perhaps because he's had so little of it, the Negro needs even more. He needs to feel important and appreciated. This need is a very real and important one. It shows up even in many of the Negro's shopping habits. Anyone who sells or wants to sell to the Negro customer should know about some of these habits. Three habits in particular play a big part in every sales transaction. To begin with, most Negroes buy by brand. They ask for products by name. They're quick to turn down off brands. Buying by brand, that's the first important Negro buying habit. Now for the second. The Negro buys good quality merchandise. Symbols of quality and prestige are very important to the Negro customer. This woman, for example, is buying fine crystal ware. But she is also buying the admiration and approval of her friends and relatives. Listen to her thoughts. My, isn't it beautiful? I can hardly wait to show it to Sally and Joan. It's a well-known fact that many Negro customers are influenced by the opinions of others. What their friends may think of a certain item often decides whether or not the sale is made. So remember, the Negro buys quality merchandise. That's the second important point. And here is the third thing to remember when selling to a Negro customer. When he specifically asks for one thing, don't try to sell him something else. Don't try to switch him at the point of sale. If you do, he'll probably react something like this. Doesn't he think I've got the money to pay for it? The Negro resents being offered a substitute. He wants to be sold on quality, not price. The Negro buys by brand, he buys quality, and he doesn't like to be switched at point of sale. These are the keys to selling the Negro customer. According to leading researchers, in proportion to population and income, Negroes buy more quality products than any other comparable United States group. 